Is it recording? We're good. All right, we are live. What's going on, YouTube? How's everybody doing? I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Weather's been kind of terrible. Actually, really te terrible. Blech. But I got a good one for you guys. Mainly because I've been going through health issues and weather issues. I really haven't had the chance to upload. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a walk around on my truck. This is a truck that I've been building that I only uploaded, I think, like two parts to it. And it came out nice. And I'll put some clips of it running. It's not currently running at the moment because, yeah, check that out. We are trying to supercharge it. <laughs> the problem is, is that this is such an old model that they don't make the, what's it called? The, the pulley tensioner for this type of supercharger since it's an older model. So basically, because on the newer ones, it just mounts right here. You have your idler. It's good to go. But the mounting bracket for these goes back here. If you can see that, I think right there. So I'm not able to mount this idler onto this specific supercharger. So we're going to have to do some fabrication. But so far, this is what she looks like. I do need to clean up the engine bay a little bit. It's a lot of wiring. And probably half of it's unnecessary. And I did also do an MSD box for uh, just for rev limiting. I need to get the two step to actually be able to use it, you know, functionally. But here she is. It's fast. She was running really good. Another problem is, which I do recommend if anybody does a job like this, if you're about to throw in a 350 into any car or truck, whatever, please do freeze plugs. Please. Because some of these are really hard to get into. That I might even lift, I think I need to lift up the whole block just to do a couple of them. I could have avoided this had I just done them before the block went in. <clears throat> yep yep completely dumb but stage three cam rockers heads headers it's she was running mint so that's what it looks like under the hood <clears throat> cow hood something's wrong with that light i need to get that light looked at or something i don't know i also put my little american you know cow head i thought i was gonna be bigger when i ordered it which came out to be a huge disappointment but ignore the tunnel cover that goes to a brand new truck that i just bought from new mexico new video coming soon on that truck it's a nice one but anyways back to this one this is the interior I replaced it, so that truck right there, that belongs to my brother's ex-wife and she does not want to give it to him, they got divorced. Yeah, you'll probably hear that a couple of times in the series. But anyways, he let me gut it and he let me take the interior that he had custom made for probably like 10 years ago. Unfortunately, that one's an extended cab, so I still have the rug. And I still have the headliner, which I do need to do something about. But this thing changed a lot. Got the bucket seats, nice little suede and leather, passenger and driver. Door panels. You got to admit, it's probably one of the cleaner looking uh, OBSs. By the way, no, no OBS I know has this. <laughs> I'm just kidding, uh, a handful of them do. But nonetheless, this is what she looks like on the inside. I got a little switch panel over there that controls the spark, fan, and fuel. And more about that fuel right now, but those are the gauges. The only ones that do work, 
because the cluster none of them work besides fuel surprisingly but here she is on the rear i got the 15 by 10s something i got from my brother oh by the way see that gas tank also more on that right now i'm just giving you guys a little tour of the truck got some rain down here in arizona which is a little weird we all know that do it for dale actually check this out i got it under the on the back of the tailgate it says dale back there do it for dale this is my freedom machine also let's go brandon here's what she looks like on the driver's side this is not a pretty truck it's not meant to be a pretty truck it's a freaking shit box but nonetheless here she is all right story time are we ready for it now the reason and i also never even got to make a walk around video while this truck was running because i was i just kept putting it off and putting it off but quick story time and which it's it's the main reason as to why this truck isn't running right now is because it caught fire so little backstory behind it. where's the other car i think i put it over here somewhere check it out yep it looks nasty it looks disgusting anyways i was coming home from walmart thanks to my brother-in-law i don't remember what i was getting him and one thing we neglected on this truck was the fuel pump was set up for a tbi engine which runs at about i think 20 psi when we switched over to carbureted we didn't do anything to regulate that pressure like the pressure regulator we do have one but didn't work it didn't do its job maybe because it's just too much pressure going through and it just it wasn't helping at all <sighs> so what happened was as i was driving because okay this switch controls fuel no this switch controls fuel fans fuel so what happened was i kept the switch on and it flooded the carb and as it flooded the car, the gas went over, went everywhere. It's on my TikTok. You guys will be able to see it. But that is what happened, and that's why she went down. She went down, we got her back running, and then for some dumb, god awful reason, I decided, hey, we should probably supercharge it to see how it does. Even though I don't have the carb rated for it, because I have, I think, a 650 CFM. I would require maybe 700, 750 to run that amount of air to the engine. So I was just gonna keep the rev limiter <laughs> at about 4,000, 4,500 RPM. Then I was just gonna use it to cruise. I wasn't really gonna do anything dumb with it yet until I got a better carburetor. Cause once again, we're mechanics on a budget. We don't really have that much yeah we don't really have that much money so we just do what we can with what we got but all that on the intake that's the old intake that is from the fire extinguisher because i called the cops but i was actually really close to home so i decided to call my brother but he didn't answer the first time so i called the cops and then after i called the cops i called my brother then he magically just showed up with the fire extinguisher put the fire out but anyways this is how she looks <clears throat> and i'll have some clips up on how it's running how it was running before it caught fire and i think i have some videos of when i was with the cops with the actual fire but thank you thank you for the content no not for the content for for watching if you did watch all the way through I appreciate all the love. If you guys do like the content, please like, follow, support, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
to all your family, your friends, everybody to subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. But other than that, thank you guys. Peace out. Start recording whenever I'm just going to crop it. Dun -dun. Dun -dun.